begin. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Tax Review Board hearings for September 14th, 2021 are now in session. Today's hearings are uh, regarding UPA or the Owner Occupied Payment Agreement uh, appeals that we have. On our list today, I just want to make the first announcement that case number five, which is Walter and Helen Kaminsky, has been withdrawn. Last four dockets, uh, uh, numbers of the docket are 7760. Um, we're going to go back to the top of the list. We do have a taxpayer who is here right now in the office. So we're going to start with his case. It's number two, Anthony Staples. Uh, Mr. Staples, good afternoon. Welcome. Yes, Welcome to the Tax Review Board. If you're comfortable taking off your mask, that's usually more helpful for us in being able to hear you and as close to the computer and monitor as is possible because that's where the microphone is. Um, thank you. My name is Paula Weiss, Chair of the Board for today. I'm gonna sw uh, swear you in and uh, therefore I'm gonna ask you, uh, Mr. Staples, do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in this matter will be the truth? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. We're going to turn to the city for um, a brief synopsis and the years and numbers that are in um, either before us on your petition, and then we'll turn to you to tell us why you're here. Um, I'm sorry, who for the city has this case? That's me, Lauren Zerillo for the city of Philadelphia. Okay. Zerillo, would you uh, start with um, the numbers or what's in contention and the brief synopsis of where the city is on this? Yes. So the... Okay, the outstanding tax years are 2006 through 2021. Um, the principal outstanding is $11,204.51. The, and you know what? I apologize. I'm on number one instead of the number two. Okay. Four, three, four, three, four, three, four, Okay, I apologize. So this is for Mr. Staples address 5716 Media Street. The tax years are 1986 through 2021 for principal in the amount of $13,200.07, interest in the amount of $15,350.95, penalties in the amount of $1,023.15, other legal lien fees in the amounts of $3,054.28 for a total amount outstanding of $32,628.45. Um, this was denied at the previous hearing for a failure to establish residency. Um, the taxpayer owns two other properties that we know of, 5784 Dunlap Street and 6827 Lindbergh. And the taxpayer actually has an active homestead exemption on 5784 Dunlap Street and has previously also applied for an UPA on 6827 Lindbergh Avenue. And I did submit exhibits um, to the board. Um, I'm, if you, are you in, were you in receipt of those? Yes. Uh, well, what okay. I have is um, a water bill. Was there something else? Yes, so, and the water bill um, actually shows that there has been no water usage at this residence. Um, and one of the criteria for having an UPA is that it is your primary residence. And this shows that there has been no water usage there. And we do not believe that this is, pro is his primary residence. So we would ask that you deny this. Okay, let's turn to Mr. Staples. Would you like to respond and explain to us what your circumstance is, please? My reason for being here today, good afternoon. My reason for being here today is that I would like to appeal the interest and penalties before I can even enter into a, a payment agreement. Um, our petition for why you're here says that um, you were interested in an owner-occupied payment agreement. Is that not the case? No, that wasn't the case today. I put in a petition to appeal uh, the interest and penalties. Okay, well, we're not here for that today. I'm going to turn us over to Ms. Andre. Do we need to... Um, yeah. This needs to be no action needed or deny, and he needs to file a new petition. Correct. Because I, don't uh, think, I don't think that the city representatives are necessarily 
to do? No, but I, I would ask that it be either denied or withdrawn. And not no action needed? Yeah, not no action needed. Well, I think withdrawn may be the better option. Um, I don't know what their other board members have a preference for. Uh, Mr. Staples, if you are interested in appealing interest and penalty on your real estate bill for this property, that's certainly something that the tax review board has jurisdiction over, but your petition today is not for that. We are not prepared to hear that today. Um, you did state owner occupied agreement and that's what we're prepared to hear. If you'd like the board to consider an interest and penalty abatement, you need to withdraw this petition and file a new petition requesting that we consider um, abatement or reduction of interest and penalty. And we'd and be that's happy. What I, that's what I did when I came down here because when I got denied, I said before I even enter, try to enter in another agreement, because the the um the electric bill, the electric bill and the, um another bill was in in my name. That's why I did, you all had denied it the first time when I came. You know. Is there another petition? Well, in any event, um, we're not prepared for that today. And um, if you, I guess, uh, Melissa, you could give him a blank petition to fill out with the appropriate appeal information and we will find another day to definitely have you come back and we will consider your request for reducing or abating interest and penalty. So- You have to withdraw this uh, petition. Right, but you well. need to withdraw this petition. Thank you, Ryan. So we have to do that out front? At the yes. Front Can okay. you just- well, he, needs state, he needs to state that he- needs On the record. To and you just state for us that you are gonna withdraw this petition. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. And if you go out front to the front desk, they will help you, assist you in filing a new, you want to file a new petition requesting uh, that we consider abatement of interest and penalty on these real estate tax amounts due. Okay. Then after okay. that, can I apply for um, for the owner occupied agreement? I'm not, now I'm, now I'm not, no, actually. You can do one or the other. Oh, you can do both. Uh, you know, if you're in, are you interested in having, having us consider the owner occupied payment agreement plan. That's why you're here today. We can do that. Um, once you file for abatement of interest and penalty, that is a separate matter altogether. Okay, so once I file for the interest and penalties, if they waive it, then I would have to pay everything off in full. No, you would be able to enter into what the city would call a standardized payment plan. They do have payment agreements um, under those circumstances oh, as well. I just couldn't do the owner occupied. Correct. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, the next case that's here is number three. I'm going to put them in the room. Okay. So we're talking about uh, Jean Claude Jean Baptiste. Last four digits of the doc docket are 7580. And, and Lauren, I think this got recalled by the city, but um, GRB did have this agreement for some time. So I'm just here in case you need some background information. It's the only case that GRB is involved in. Okay, I actually have this listed as a GRB case. Oh, okay, well. Let me just take a look at that. I thought yeah, that, and I can let me. I can pull up the screen. Hold on one second. I just keep writing here. I just had that this UPA was filed with the city, not GRB, back in 2019. The denial letter looks like it's from the city. Okay. Um, good afternoon, sir. You're, could you please state your name for the record? My name is, good afternoon. How are you doing? My name is Jean-Claude Jean-Baptiste. Um, okay, thank you, Mr. Jean-Baptiste. My name is Paula Weiss, chairing the, the, ta chairing the tax review board for today. Um, if you move a little closer, we'll be able to hear you better. Um, the microphone is attached to the computer. Um, I would like to swear you in. So uh, do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in this matter will be the truth? I do. Thank you. I'm going to turn to the city representatives uh, at the moment for a brief synopsis of your situation and the dollar amounts and years that are involved. Um, which one of you is handling this? <laughs> I think you're, um, you're muted, Lauren. I will read the amounts and then um, we can get a little background and then I can. 
Okay. okay. So this is for property 4341 Bermuda Street. The outstanding tax years at issue are 2015 through 2021. Principal new amounts of $8,395. Interest in the amounts of $1,984.10. Penalties in the amounts of $596.91. Other legal lien fees in the amount of $3,092.31 for a total amount due of $14,068.58. Okay. Um, and just as some background, um, the taxpayer did file for an UPA in November of 2019. Um, it was denied and listed for a sheriff's sale in March of 2020. Um, an UPA appeal followed, and it's my understanding that that appeal was denied um, because uh, there was a different mailing address from the property address, and there was a question on water usage at the property. Um, so I think there remains a question as to whether this is a primary residence for Mr. John Baptiste. Okay. Yes. Uh, and I can spot. confirm um, our records are showing that this was uh, denied for failure to establish residency, and we've mailed several notifications that were returned to sender. Um, at the property address, and he, um, the taxpayer has still not been able to establish that this is primary residency. Okay, Mr. Jean Baptiste, I'm going to turn to you now. You've heard the city's uh, presentation, and uh, we're prepared now to hear what you have to tell us about the matter. Mm, I have been living this since 2005, I believe. Up until now, I always get my mail, and I don't know why the mail will go to the centers. Uh, they tend to send that. In fact, uh, I just get a mail from you. I'm going to let me know that I have um, the, um, the, the, uh, the hearing. So this is your primary residence? Do you own other properties? My only residence. OK. Um, no, do you use... My only residence, yeah. Do you have utilities at this property? Um, I didn't have before. Not even electricity. That's probably why uh, people assume they ain't go there, but I still get my mail there. But uh, yes, I had uh, all my unity cut, cut, cut off. And as of last, uh, I think last, the water was the one. As of uh, last October. I'm sorry. Last I... November, October, I have everything uh, 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 reinstalled. All right, I'm going to turn to the city. Go ahead. I believe that um, up until this point, the city has been um, asking uh, Mr. Bap Jean Baptiste Jean Claude for his utility bills. So if he has those utility bills with him today and can supply them um, that show his mailing address at this property, I think that and his license to this property or his ID card to this property. Those have been questioned in the past, and that has why he's been repeatedly denied. Did you bring anything with you today, Mr. Jean Baptiste, to establish that this is your primary residence? Do you have a driver's license, a utility? Yes, bill? I've just given my license. I have it here. And the last, uh, last I it. unfortunately, I, I was there with David. I forgot to bring something recent. Um, but I do, have, I do have my driver's license with me, which, which was just, just renewed. You want me to show it to, to you on to, this, to the camera? Um, all right, someone's going to come around. Okay, all right. Okay. It, it has just renewed on, what, on the 9th. So looking at, looking at the notes uh, through account, it would be the city's suggestion that possibly a continuance for um, him to bring in all the sufficient documents, uh, including the utility bills, which have been the main cause of denial for this petition. And at that point, if he can bring his license and the utility bills and, you know, everything that we've been asking for, the city wouldn't object at that point. But, but right now, I still don't feel like it's sufficient enough. Hey, Ms. Andre, what, what are you holding? Just for the record, I'm holding his Pennsylvania driver's license. It has his name, John Baptiste, 
JC and his address is 4341 Bermuda Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna make a copy and put it in the file. All right, so you are using electricity and water at this location. I have everything on now. Um, Unfortunately, um, they didn't tell me everything at the at Malasian. They told me to make sure I take care of the, it, and it, I think the main issue was the water issue. So the one with the meter. And uh, the, I was told to make sure I got that rectified. I did. However, like I said, unfortunately, like I said, I had a meeting. I was told that I forgot to bring it in, like the lady, the other day, they said, you and uh, bring my cup and my bill. And I forgot. But they, they should know. It, 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 everything is coming right now. All right, I'm going to turn to my fellow board members for any other questions or um, conversation. Do we need to break out? Do we know what, where we're heading here? I want to know if he has any other property in the city of Philadelphia, any other real estate properties he owns. Uh, so he said, I said that at least a couple of times, this is my only residence. I have no other property. No other properties. Okay. Um, Sorry. Is there anybody else living in that property with you? That again? Anyone else lives no, in that property? I'm the only one, no. Okay, that's all. Dominique? Sure. Council for the city, um, you said the years that were at issue were from 2015 to 2021. Let me, I can, um, is that sharing the screen? I can pull up. Because I can understand him turning the water and turning the electricity on in 2021, but what about the previous years? That again? Oh yeah, that the 2020, uh, that's when I got the, the uh, turn on again. Okay, but the city was saying the years at issue, I'm just trying to confirm those specific years. Yes, it's 2015 through 2021. Um, nothing has been paid. There's principal for all those years, interest and penalties. And the total amount due is $14,068.58. And right, there was never any utility bills, so it kept being uh -huh. for insufficient um, documentation. So there were no utility bills from 2015 to 2021 then? Correct. Okay, so petitioner, you understand that, that you're only testifying that you now turn the electricity and water on for 2021, but what about the previous four years at this point, or rather five years? What happened from 2015 to 2020? Were you living in the residence at that time? 15, 15, 20. Yeah, 15, 15 to 2020. 20, 2015. Yep. That's probably the, the, the course of time I was having hardship. I don't recall exactly, but you know, I was, I was having some, some hardship until uh, 2019, I, I believe so, 2019, 2020. I was okay. trying to get uh, everything reinstalled. Were you living in the residence though from 2015 to 2020 is my question. Yes, I was living there. I was- uh, No water and no electricity. People can live it anyway. The only issue was water, um, because water you have to. You know. No, she asked you a question. Were you living there without water and electricity? From 2015 to 2020. That's a yes or no question. Yes, yes, I was. Okay, I'm ready to go to the break room. Break ready to go to the breakout room too. Thank you. Say again. The board is going to. The board is going to a room to discuss this matter, okay? okay. They'll okay. be back.
Everyone is back, Paula. Okay. Um, we are back in session. Uh, Mr. Jean-Baptiste, the board has discussed the information provided by you and put forth by the city. It is our decision to grant your request to be on uh, have an UPA payment plan for the year 2021 um, and to deny the request for prior years. Um, if you have documentation for prior years that you can show to the revenue department to establish that this was your primary residence, you can always take it into them and discuss with them um, an, an additional application for UPA. But at this point, for the years 2015 through 2020, we are denying the request. You'll get and, a letter. Uh, You'll get a letter. My utility bills uh, be, be sufficient? Pardon me? Will my uh, uh, utility bill be, be sufficient? Yeah. Well, if you have utility bills for prior years, um, you know, you'll need to establish well, it. I have no bill because it was, everything was caught up. You'll have to dis discuss with the revenue department what other kind of documentation may be sufficient for them to uh, find that you are qualified for the program. But at this point, based on the information you've provided, the board is denying the petition for those years. You'll get a letter from the tax review board in about two weeks um, with, in with the decision itself and information as to how to proceed. So thank you very much for coming in. Paula, let me give you an appeal. Oh, appeal. and you do have, the, either side has the right to appeal to the Court of Common Pleas. Oh, I can appeal? To the Court of, you'll have 30 days from the date of the letter to appeal to the Court of Common Pleas. Is it got the, uh, oh, Court of Common, common Pleas? Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the last time I think I had to put, uh, you, you, you bought to, to Pardon me? the appeal. After the last time, I think I had uh, to go to, I had to go to uh, next door. Well, now the that board. you're at full tax review board level, the next level from this board is the Court of Common Pleas. So this, uh, I, uh, this, just... go ahead. Hello? Did you want to add something? Yes. So the way um, that the owner-occupied payment agreement works is that if you're currently residing and it's your main residence at that point, all your back years get to be included. It's not just the years that it was your residence, it's if it is your current residence. So unfortunately, there's not a way to deny for certain years and grant for the years that there, it doesn't work like the home, the homestead or, or the loop. Um, it's basically if you're currently living in the property and that's your primary residence, you get all of your back years included, which is why to the city it would be important that, that he, you know, establish that it is his primary residence as of now. So just to put that on. on right. Well, the board did consider the testimony and um, we are decide we are making that decision that we accept his testimony. Okay. All right, so Mr. Jean-Baptiste, you still have to contact the Revenue Department um, in order to enter into the agreement. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I want to get um, the mail first or I can do it now? Wait for him to do that. He has to wait. Wait for, wait for the letter. Okay. Wait for the letter. Okay. Okay, thank you for right. coming in. Okay, the next case is case number one. Okay. We are and members of the board, that's the only matter that I have for GRB. Uh, may I be excused? Yes, thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay, um, I got my license on the way out. You can you can leave now, Mr. Jean Baptiste. You'll yeah, get a letter. My license. She gonna give me one outside. Oh, that's it. She was waiting to give it to you when I left. Where did she go? I'm right here. I didn't know where to go. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. I knew I put you in that room. <laughs> I didn't know where you wanted me. <laughs> okay. She's ready. Okay. Um, Ms. Burke? Yes. Can you please state your full name. Actually, if you feel comfortable taking off your mask, that's probably most helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and your, could you please state your full name for the record? 
Tori, T-O-R-E-Y, Burke, B-U-R-K. Thank you. Welcome to the Tax Review Board. My name is Paula Weiss. I'm chairing the board for today. Um, do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in this matter will be the truth? Yes. Thank you. I'm going to turn to the city representative now for um, the dollar amounts and years that are involved in your appeal and their brief synopsis of where we stand in this matter. Okay. Ms. Hello. Uh, Lauren Zula for the city of Philadelphia. This is the property 244 East Montana Street. The tax years at issue are 2006 through 2021. Principal in the amount of $11,204. I missed it. You, you went out for that. What's the principal amount? The principal amount is $11,204.51. Interest in the amount of $8,167.47. Penalties in the amount of $829.31. Other legal lien fees in the amounts of $1,940.11 for a total amount due of $22,141.40. This UPA was previously denied because Ms. Berg had um, equitable ownership and there was no steps made to take title. But since that time, there was um, she has received title so the city would not object to the UPA being granted. In this well, case. There you go, Ms. Burke. <laughs> and it was so hard. I've been here the last time um, they didn't have me on the docket. It took me <laughs> a long time. So now am I, I mean, am I where I'm supposed to be at now? Can you explain to me what's going yes. on? Because okay, so the city is conceding. They are, um, Ms. Rilla has just stated that you have provided them with all of the information that they need in order to grant your request to be on the owner occupied payment agreement plan. So you can now be part of that program. The tax review board, um, I haven't talked to my fellow board members, but we're gonna grant your petition is my assumption. Um, mark it granted as per the city's documentation or statements. And Ms. Rilla, what is her next step in order to actually get onto this agreement? Thanks. Uh, she will wait for the letter to come from the tax review board granting um, her appeal and she can take it to the law department or actually take it to the municipal services building into the bottom basement floor with the letter and they will enter her into the agreement. Okay. So you will be permitted to take advantage of that program. Thank you so much. I'm good now, right? All right so my, I'm going to pull my fellow board members, uh, Dominique and George. I concur. Dominique, you're muted. Yes, I concur as well. Sorry, I was looking for the I, mute. <laughs> thank I you. concur as well, Ryan Boyer. Oh, Ryan, thank you. Your name is, doesn't pop up. Um, all right, so Ms. Burke, you'll get a letter from the Tax Review Board in about two weeks with that information. Take it to the Municipal Services Building in the concourse downstairs where the Revenue Department representatives are, and they will help you get on to the agreement. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in and good luck. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Do the same. All right, our last person who's here is case number one. No, four. I apologize. Four? four? Yes. All right. All right, so we're moving on to Diane Gibbons. Last four digits of the docket are 8384. In the middle of the right hand Oh, Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Paula Weiss, chair of the Tax Review Board today, and you are? I am Reginald Gibbons. Okay. Um, Mr. Gibbons, what is your relationship to the, well, let me swear you in first. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in this matter will be the truth? I do. Thank you. Could you explain your relationship to the property involved? Um, 3926 North 9th Street was a property, was owned by my grandma who passed away. Um, and pretty much left it to my mom who left it to me. Um, and I've been, you know, just trying to do everything that I can do to just keep it up. It's, you know, it needs a lot of work. Um, we don't want to let it go because she actually died in the house. Um, and yeah, I've just been, you know, trying to do everything I can with COVID and stuff like that. It kind of threw me off for the payment plan or whatever, but, um, I'm, I'm definitely like in, in shape to get back on plan and try to, you know, get this text thing squared away. 
Well, we're glad to hear that. Um, is the property in your name? Um, so it isn't in my name just yet. I just uh, recovered the um, death certificate um, to be able to take care of all that paperwork and um, do whatever need to be done to have the deed transferred to my name. And, all right. Uh, that's something um, I was working on as well. Is there a will involved or is this without a will, just that it was your mom's and now it's going to go to you? Yeah, so it, it, it isn't a will involved, but uh, my mom definitely was the uh, the person who was who it was given to after my grandma passed away. Um, but she had another place to stay and it's very emotional for her to be in the property or near the property. Like, so she just- Can I ask you a question, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, Diane, is that your mother or your grandmother? That is my grandmother. So, is the, so now you're in the process of trying to untangle this tangled title that we call, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And you're here today for the owner occupied payment agreement program. Um, I'm going to turn it over to the city, but I believe this may be premature since the property is not in your name. So let me turn it back to the city for some discussion of that. Ms. Rillo, you're on mute. Can I click the numbers that? first? Um, well, let's discuss standing before we even. Okay. So do that. Um, he, um, Mr. Gibbons was what we considered an equitable owner back in 2017, but that has since, um, you have three years until you, for, to be equitable owner in, in that three years, you're supposed to have the house put in your name. So that time has lapsed. So he doesn't have standing as an equitable owner anymore, but he can appeal this UPA and try to get back into his agreement. But one of the city's arguments is that he, he had, does not have title in his name any longer. And the other, th the other issue that the city has is that the jurisdiction for the board to even hear this case because the original appeal was filed um, September 11th of 2019. And there was the letter was mailed out on um, the 17th of September, and it wasn't appealed or for a rehearing until March, which is actually very March far after for the appeal. March of 2020? Uh, um, Mar sure. Yes, March 2nd of 2020. You know what happened March 16th of 2020, right? <laughs> yeah I, so the the thing is i have if you would look at the exhibits i have notes from the from the tax review board saying that there was a letter sent but the okay i i think that's less of a concern for us at the moment than standing and whether um why don't okay. we why don't we continue it for 120 days and let him try to get standing yeah, I think the fact that he was incarcerated and then found not guilty um, is an excruciating circumstance that allows us to pretty much allow him to try to get himself back on track. Um, excuse me, when were you released uh, from uh, from jail, Mr. Gibbons? What's the, uh, what was the timeline of you being in there? Uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, it, it was from August to about uh, November, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, all right, Dominique, did you have another question? No, that's it. I just wanted to know the timeline of when he kind of would have been inaccessible to even come to these hearings or try to work on trying to get this resolved. So thank you. So Mr. Gibbs, Go ahead. If I could just put one more thing on the record, it's that this um, property address has offsite um, water bill. So the water bill is being mailed to an offsite um, address I as think well. his mom address. doesn't live there. Um, Mr. Gibbons, do you live in the house? Yes. Is this, do you own any other properties in the city? No. Is this your primary residence? Yes. Yes. And where are you in the process of having, trying to get the title put into your name? Um, well, with everything just getting back in a mm -hmm. good flow, I'm actually like all over it right now. Um, I actually haven't went to city hall yet, uh, but I can do that this week. Um, like I said, I just, 
recovered the, the death certificate. I know that was something that they needed. And I also would need like an affidavit from my mom, basically saying that it's okay for me to need it in my name because it's like skipping from my grandmom to my mom to me. Okay, so here's what we're thinking. In order for you to really take advantage of this program, you need to be the owner of the house. Okay. okay. So we're going to, um, the proposal, which I need to discuss with my board members is for us to continue this matter so that to give you an opportunity to do that, okay. to get the title in your house and then come back. Okay. Once you own the house. Okay. Okay, so hang on just a second. Uh, Ryan, that was your proposal. Um, Dominique, George, I agree to that because, you know, he needs time to get everything straightened out. So Tommy, I concur with that as well. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to give you uh, 120 days okay. to get that process started. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're going to get another letter from the board with a new date to come back. When you come back, bring all of the documentation that shows what you have done and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You get, if, you know, hopefully by then it, maybe you'll have completed the paperwork. But even if you haven't, bring with you all the paperwork to show us what you're doing to get the property into your name, okay? okay. If you have to file with the Court of Common Pleas or the Register of Wills or whatever it is mm -hmm. that the process requires, bring all of that with you for the city representative and for the board to consider, okay? okay? So you're going to get a letter, a letter from the Tax Review Board in about two weeks that says it's been continued. In about 120 days, you will get another letter with a new hearing date and come on back and let us know where you are. Sounds great. Okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for coming in. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, can, one the board, more. can the board just state that everybody agrees with this decision for the record? You just did that. Um, oh, did? Ryan? Yeah. Ryan yeah. Boyd concurs. George? I concur. Dominique? I concur. Paula Weiss, I concur. Sorry, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody. Same. Is that it? Yeah. Nobody else. Okay. Thank you all very much. Uh, that matter. Oh. All right. Thank you. Bye. Oh, hang on, George. All right. Bye, George. Is Rilla? Yeah. Sorry. I just would like some clarification for uh, I believe it was number three on the list, Mr. John Baptiste Jean Claude. So I, I under I understand your ruling, but I would I was just wondering, and maybe Melissa can help that this would just turn it would just be that you granted the petition because yeah. it's okay. I just wanted to, for my notes clarification. Thank for, you. For petition. Um, any other matters? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. These hearings are concluded. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.